Hey guys, what's up? It's Pascal. Hey Mo. Art of Adventure. Back at you. Today we're going to show you the three big things you need to know about Troy Springs before you go. Yeah, that's good to know. Spoiler alert, one of them has to do with the Civil War era shipwreck. What? Let's go! Let's go. Let's jump right in. Troy Spring is hidden along the banks of the Suwannee River in Branford, Florida. I think it's one of the most unique swimming holes for three main reasons. Number one, Troy is the only spring that I know of that has a sunken steamboat that dates back to the Civil War. The submerged remains of the sunken steamship, the Madison, rest in the shallow water just off the river at the entrance to the spring run. The Madison served as a floating mail service and trading post on the Suwannee River in the 1850s. During the Civil War, its owners scuttled the steamship along the spring run to keep it from falling into enemy hands. To this day, all you need is a mask and a snorkel to check out what's left of this relic. It's not every day you can snorkel a shipwreck in inland Florida. Nice. Number two, the 70 foot drop just steps off the boardwalk. The depth of Troy Spring makes it a popular spot for scuba divers and free divers. When the water is clear, there are all kinds of cool nooks and crannies and even some overhead environments to check out. The state park recently put in new benches to make it easier to set up your scuba gear. And there's a paved boardwalk now that snakes down from the parking lot to the water's edge. It certainly helps when you're carrying a lot of heavy gear. And hey, if swimming and snorkeling are more your style, that's cool too. The pool area of Troy Spring is huge. It stretches 140 feet by 120 feet. And the spring run itself is more than 300 feet long, so there is plenty to explore. It's also pretty cool to see the shimmer of the sunlight as it penetrates the 70 foot cavity. And you don't need scuba tanks for that. Number three. You might have noticed Troy Springs' unique emerald green color. It's a direct reflection of the algae growth that covers the limestone formations. And pretty much everything else at Troy Spring. Here are a few more pro tips for Troy. This spring is a little off the beaten path, so I don't expect it to reach capacity too early in the day during the summer months. Personally, fall and winter are my favorite months for spring hopping. You're more likely to catch a solo session and the water stays 72 degrees year round. Troy is open from 8 a.m. to sundown, 365 days a year. There's a $5 pay station, so bring some cash for that. This is pretty new. You can also buy a ticket online now. If you go that route, I suggest you buy before you leave the house. Cell service is not that great here. I'll drop a link in the description for those tickets. Troy has a nice lawn, picnic tables, scuba benches, and newly renovated bathrooms just steps from the parking lot. And here's a super bonus adventure for you. There are a handful of other springs along the Suwannee right near Troy. Royal, Peacock, Branford, and Little River Springs are all pretty close. And hey, three of those springs are free, free, free. Multiple springs in one day and easy on the wallet? Yes, please. I'll take it. Every time. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button. Come on now. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe. We have a ton of good stuff in the playlist, plus a lot of adventures on tap. We want our experiences to help make your next adventure epic. That's true. That's what Art of Adventure is all about. That's why we're here. All that's left for you to do. Is what? Go get it. Just go get it. Go get it, y'all. Come on now.